My name is Stormy Kendrick. I'm from Clemson University and I run the 60 meter dash. There's not really a story behind why my name is Stormy. Just, um, well, they didn't know if I was going to be a boy or a girl. So if I was a boy, they were going to name me Storm. So I guess they just put a Y on the end. But my mom always told me to just run like the wind because nobody can catch the wind. So I guess my name does suit me. <laughs> my top five schools were Miami, Penn State, Oklahoma, Texas, and here, Clemson. I chose Clemson because um, academic-wise it was a good school to come to and because I felt that I had a better relationship with Coach Hall and Coach Johnson. I felt that this uh, they were rebuilding the track program here and I wanted to be a part of that. Um, we won an ACC championships last year and I feel that we can continue that legacy throughout my college years here. The biggest difference between high school track and college track is the amount of running that we actually do and the volume and the intensity. As far as fall training, that's more of our base and conditioning training. We do a lot of hills, dikes, X's. Um, when we get back on the track, it's more 400s, 500s, 3s, repeats. So, I mean, the fall training is really, really tough, but I mean, it's, it prepares you for your indoor and your outdoor season because those are both two long seasons, so you have to have your base and to get ready for the other phases of your training as well. Mentally, being prepared for me is about 99% um, like part of it. Like you have to be confident in yourself and believe in your training and just know that know that you came to run. The routine of getting in my blocks is always the same. And when we do runouts, I always look for Coach Hall in the crowd and he always tells me if there's something that I need to change right then and there or if that was okay. Um, but mainly the thing that goes through my head is just to relax, wait for the gun, and just to focus on my, just to focus on the race because we practice everything in, in practice. So just let the race come to you naturally. My school record seven two two. It's okay. I'm never satisfied with a time because I know that there's other people out there that's faster than me, and but. 722, I'm happy with that, but at Nationals, I want to go faster. I mean, everybody wants to run faster, of course, but I believe that I'll be capable of running a lot faster than that. And my relationship with Coach Hall is very close. Um, he helped me win a World Junior title in the 200. Um, he keeps me well-grounded and focused and disciplined, and I can come talk to him about anything. We have a very, very good relationship. Coach Johnson always keeps us grounded as well. He um, he knows what he looks for in his athletes, and as long as you're putting the effort forth, then he acknowledges that. And he doesn't take slack from anybody, and I think that's good for a coach because that's what we need to win championships, and that's what we're all here for. Nobody likes to lose. Everybody looks out for each other. We all cheer each other on, no matter if somebody has a bad race or a good race. We always tell each other, good job. If somebody's down about their race, then we give them encouraging words. Uh, we just like to support each other in everything that we do and that, I think that's very important in winning championships and titles is being supportive and believing in one another. My motivation is I want to run in the 2012 Olympics of course but I also want to help children that have been through um, drug abuse problems like their family and stuff like that. I just want to be um, an inspiration to young kids to let them know that they can make it out of any situation that they're in and they don't have to follow down the same footsteps as other people. The biggest inspiration on my life would probably be my grandmother. She um, always pushed me towards success and greatness and she always kept me well grounded. So if I would have to acknowledge anybody for being where I am today, it would have to be her. My advice to any upcoming runner would be to just stay motivated and to stay positive. 
trusting your coaches and believing your training. And if you have a bad race, then don't dwell on it because everybody does. You just gotta learn from your mistakes and cope with it and make your next race even better.